talked about how you can, when editing a cell, you can hold down Alt Enter to go to the next line. And that's if you're typing information in. Now, if I wanted to take existing information that I had in separate cells and then combine that into one cell on different lines, well, that's a whole other story. Now, in previous videos, we talked about the concatenate function. And the concatenate function allows me to attach uh, text together, essentially. So just as a quick example, I'm going to take the text in A1. I'm going to concatenate that to text in A2 and concatenate that to the text in line 3. So everything seems okay. Now if I hit enter, this function is going to work, except it puts it all in a line. All in one straight long line. Now, you would say, okay, well, you know what, how about I activate wrap text? And I would agree with you to a point. So if I click on this cell, and then uh, on the home tab, you have a button called wrap text. If I click that, it kind of does it, right? But then I'd have to adjust it perfectly to get it now those pieces of text are attached together so it's going to keep those together so it's not it's not perfect I need a better way to do this I actually want each of these pieces of text when I concatenate them to be on their own line so essentially I want a way of hitting alt enter between these entries and thankfully there is a way to do it and here's how you do it you would use something called the char function so if I put in in this function here I'm going to explain this in one second here so I did a1 and then the character function, the char function, and the and the number of the character I'm putting in is 10, which happens to be a return or an enter. Uh, and then to that I'm attaching the next bit. So let's just go and try this. You can see that now text line 1 gets its own line. It hits this, essentially does an alt enter, and then I'm back onto the next line. So I could do that again between my next little section here. I could do So again, just placed a return, which is the character function, number 10. Hit enter. I might have to expand this a little bit so you can see it. There you go. So now I have essentially a concatenate function that's placed each of these lines on an independent line within one cell. And there can be uh, a couple of uses for this. One I did was creating a schedule, and I wanted a bunch of items that are typed in into individual cells. I wanted them in one cell. Uh, for ease of printing and ease of identifying, let's say, in a VLOOKUP function, things like this. In any case, this is how you can uh, control or put an enter uh, in your fun formula results by using the character function.